you'll find Photoshop's selection brush hidden beneath the lasso tool. And you can use it to paint selections. So we're going to select the cutout portion of this fig. Unlike the regular lasso tool, you can stop and you can start tracing again in whichever direction you find most comfortable, whether it's on a mouse or a tablet. If you make a mistake, hold on the Option or Alt key and you can paint out that part of the selection. To draw straight lines, click, hold the Shift key and click again. And this will draw straight lines between the points where you click. Hold the modifier keys and drag left and right to change the size of your brush and now you can paint in the middle of your selection. I want to add this shadow at the bottom but I don't want a hard edge on this textured background. Hold the modifier keys and drag up and down to change the hardness of your brush and now I can paint a soft edge selection around that shadow. I want to add some of the fig on the left but not at full opacity. If we change this opacity to say 50%, I can now add a 50% strength selection down this side. If you switch to any of the regular selection tools, then that turns into a standard selection. Let's make a new layer from this. When we move it around, you can see the hard edge selection on the right, the soft edge selection at the bottom, and the partial selection on the left hand side. And that means when we put it in place on top of our second fig, it's a perfect fit. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel.